here's the scary thing. What if part of me wants to go? Oh, bro. What if I'm so crazy and I've been so desperate for an exceptional life my entire existence and I understand that I would make a bigger dent in the matrix if I go than if I don't go. And if I understand that if I'm going to fly on private jets and drive around in Bugattis and be the most famous man on the planet, there's no light without dark and the dark is a Romanian dungeon filled with cockroaches. And maybe I understand that when I'm 72, if I manage to live that long, I'll look back on those 10 years I spent in that dungeon and be happy they happened because of the lessons I learned. Maybe part of me wants to go. Maybe I'm not afraid at the point where I actually completely am ready for it at a level where I'll be excited by the opportunity. Maybe when you want to explore all the levels on the map of life, you don't just want all the levels at the top. See, this is the mistake most people make. They sit there in a normal life and they dream of being rich and going on nice vacations and dreaming of all the nice things. They don't dream of all the bad things. They think they have all the light with none of the dark. That's not how it works. The only reason you appreciate being rich is because you were poor. If you were born rich, you don't appreciate it. The only reason you appreciate being in good health is because you were once sick. When you're sick, you'll do anything to be healthy. If you've never experienced sickness, you don't know what health is. There is no light without dark. Perhaps I'll be a happier person and live a more fulfilled life and enjoy my fantastic benefits that come with wealth if I do go. Perhaps I can have a more positive message and more people will know my name if I do go mad. Perhaps I'm ready to martyr myself. Perhaps I am ready to charge at the gunfire. Perhaps I don't care. You are a bad man. <laughs> like just the idea of that and I kind of believe you